Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Leveling Up From The Inside. Today I'm just gonna post a quick video about my eighth month anniversary after my circumferential tummy tuck, uh, also called the lower body lift 360. Um, so I had that, it goes all the way around. I also had a tummy tuck, muscle repair, and liposuction done. Um, a little history about me. I had gastric sleeve surgery done April of 2019 in Mexico and after a hundred pound weight loss I decided to get uh, skin removed from my midsection. Uh, it was causing me um, some problems with skin irritations and things like that so I really wanted to get that taken care of. Um, so let's get right into it. The question that I get the most often um, and, and people actually request to see it is my scar. Uh, so I'm going to show you that right off the bat because that's usually what people want to know about. So there's my scar. I'm not going to go down too low. It goes down pretty low. I mean, my doctor took it down pretty low. So, um, But that's kind of what it looks like there. It goes all the way around to this side. Um, it is kind of on the dark side. I know. Um, but I have kind of olive skin, so I definitely takes me a long time to heal scars when I had my c-section after having my son uh, that scar took a good year and a half to two years before it it lightened up um, what I do use on my scar is a skin therapy oil I got this I think at like CVS um, I had bought the the Sika I think it's called Sika tape I got this on Amazon I was using this for a while um, but because it's such a big scar and it's kind of hidden, it was kind of more of a pain in the neck to do it than not do it. So if you are totally committed to getting rid of that scar in this area, definitely use this. I mean, I'm, it has amazing reviews and I'm sure it'll work. I just don't have the patience for it. However, um, I am also having a, or I'm having a, medial thigh lift, a brachioplasty, and a breast augmentation done in a few weeks on August 3rd. And I will definitely, definitely be using the Sika tape on those scars because those you're gonna be able to see them a lot more. Um, and it's easier to apply the Sika tape to this kind of position and this kind of position than it is trying to like get it so that it's covering all this stuff way back here. That's too much. Um, so going through right now, how do I feel? Um, so I got a bunch of mosquito bites. I live in Florida. How do I feel? I feel pretty good. Um, I still do get swelling. That's to be expected within the first year. Um, I'm actually a little swollen now. I went, um, I worked out this morning pretty hard. So I'm a little puffy right there. Um, during, you know, that time of the month, I do get really puffy and cramps and stuff, so that's no fun. But if I have a big workout, um, uh, we went to Disney before they closed. I went with my son and I, I was pretty swollen during those days. However, what I did um, and still do is I had a binder. I got this guy on Amazon for like 20 bucks and this definitely helps me get everything back in track. I'm just gonna throw it on really quick. Did I put it on backwards? I'm gonna throw it on really quick so you can see it. I sleep with this guy and it always helps kind of get everything back on track. Um, so you just kind of wrap it like this. I actually used this binder um, after I got rid of the foam inserts that you wear after surgery. And this thing was amazing. I actually, why isn't it sticking? It's being naughty right now. I actually have two versions of this. I have this version and I have this one, which has this like little extra waist cincher. Not as comfortable to sleep in, but this one's pretty comfortable to sleep in. Um, I will link this down below, but I still use this um, during, you know, like I said, when I was on vacation, when I have my period, I will still use this binder um, just to hold everything in and to push out some of that water. The great thing about this one is that you can adjust where you want your tightness. Like when I'm sleeping, I don't want it excessively tight where my lungs are, but I will definitely tighten it in this section. Why isn't it not staying? I swear to God, this is a really good binder. It's just that I'm not pushing it down and I'm trying to be fast. Oh, so disappointing. So disappointing. All right, there it goes. Um, so that's this binder. 
again, I'm eight months out, still wear it, still sleep with it. Uh, not every day, but definitely when I'm feeling puffy, you, you want to put one of these on. Um, other than that, there's really not that much else to report. Um, I'm feeling good. Oh, with these pants, one thing I did want to mention, you see how these have like this little elastic pull-up waistband. They don't have any like closure here with the zipper. Um, I found for me that when I put jeans on or um, pants that were snug that had that closure there, it just pressed on a weird place on my stomach and it was not comfortable. It's not so bad now at six or at eight months out, but definitely the first five or six months I was kind of sensitive there. And even still, if I put like some low rise jeans, you know, for the few people that still have low rise jeans, I could probably not wear them or I probably wouldn't be able to wear them for very long just because they're gonna be pressing like right in this area. And that that still will get sore um, even now so that is my update eight months um, if you like this video please like and share it with your other plastic surgery community um, if you want to follow my journey again I am having my brachioplasty uh, medial thigh lift and breast augmentation in four or five weeks on August 3rd today's July 4th so four weeks um, and I'm going to be filming getting leading up to that surgery. I'm also going to add a couple things um, about my circumferential surgery and what I brought to the doctor with or to the hospital with me. Um, things that were must-haves for that surgery because there are a few must-haves if you are having the surgery to make the process easier. And, and this, you know, an example, this is one of them is this type of binder. Oh, great. They're stuck together. Anyway. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.